NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, Best Midrange Graphics Card The RTX 3070 is the best midrange graphics card you can buy right now. It rivals the RTX 2080 Ti, while costing much, much less. This is extraordinary news, and anyone who wants to build or upgrade a midrange gaming PC should be happy. A year ago, before the advent of NVIDIA's 30 series graphics cards and AMD's 6000 series ones, a GPU with similar features would have broken the internet. Despite being the underdog in the RTX 30 range, the middle child between the RTX 3060 Ti and RTX 3080, offers in practice extraordinary performance at an unbeatable price. Yes, it doesn't sport the 3080's new GDDR6X RAM, but it does offer the best performance to price ratio of the three, to gamers who want a game at 1440p resolution with more than 60 FPS. On top of that, before this graphics card, gaming at 4K resolutions was simply out of the question for gamers on a budget. The RTX 3070, however, manages to bring 4K gaming to the mainstream, without having to compromise on settings in most titles. For all of you who are still clinging to your GTX 1080 Ti, it's finally time to upgrade. Unfortunately for the 3070, Nvidia also launched the 3060 Ti, which is about 10% slower but also costs 20% less. So if you want the best NVIDIA GPU at the lowest price, the 3060 Ti is the one you should get. If, on the other hand, you always wanted the performance of the 2080 Ti, but couldn't justify the cost, the 3070 is a reasonable upgrade. AMD Radeon RX 6800, a valid alternative. If you think AMD is capable of building only cheap graphics cards, think again. The RX 6800 marks AMD's return to the mid-range graphics card market. This GPU delivers solid 4K gaming performance and impressive ray tracing. Compared to its direct rival, the RTX 3070, it is 10% faster. Unfortunately, it also costs 15% more, but we think having twice as much VRAM is worth the extra expense. The only real concern is its performance with ray tracing enabled, that's very lacking. It basically corresponds to that of the RTX 2080 Super. And AMD's lack of an alternative for DLSS is a real problem. So if ray tracing is important to you, opt for the RTX 3070. If not, get the RX 6800. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, the best. The king is dead, long live the king. The RTX 3080 boasts a new and improved Ampere architecture. While AMD has no doubt shortened the gap with its RX 6000 series graphics cards, the throne still belongs to the green team. Sure, the RTX 3090 is the most powerful GPU you can buy, but if you only care about games, then it's an unnecessary splurge. If you intend to game at 4K resolution, the RTX 3080 is the only graphics card worth considering. Before it, you had to shell out more than $1,000 on an RTX 2080 Ti in order to get playable frame rates. However, with the new generation, the entry price was cut almost in half, thanks to the RTX 3080. It boasts one of the biggest generational jumps in performance in GPU history, offering a 65% increase over the RTX 2080, and a 25% increase over the RTX 2080 Ti. And despite the fact that it has less VRAM than the RTX 2080 Ti, it uses the new faster GDDR6X memory. What really sets it apart is its ray tracing performance. The first generation of ray tracing capable graphics cards had a drop in frame rate so huge, that most users kept the option disabled, but this is no longer the case. To better understand this, the RTX 3080 delivers the same performance with ray tracing turned on as the RTX 2080 with ray tracing turned off. AMD's new Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards also come with ray tracing, but their performance is not on par with Nvidia's. Thus, if you want a game at 4K or 1440p resolutions, with all graphics settings at maximum, and ray tracing enabled, the RTX 3080 is the only graphics card capable of producing at least 60 FPS. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, best 4K graphics card. If you're willing to spend 4 digits on a graphics card, then get the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. It's as fast as the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, but has a more affordable price. 
It offers just 10,240 CUDA cores and 12 GB of video RAM instead of the 10,496 CUDA cores and 24 GB of video RAM of the RTX 3090, which, nevertheless, are more than enough to game at 4K at 60fps. Despite the increase in performance, it's 15% faster when compared to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, it retains the same dimensions, and requires just 30 watts more power, 350 watts in total. All in all, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is the best 4K graphics card on the market right now, especially for ray tracing games. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, Best Value AMD is no longer the king of cheap graphics cards. The RTX 3060 Ti offers the best performance to price ratio. The 3060 Ti includes all the benefits of RTX cards, while costing less than all other Ampere series graphics cards. Despite its price, its performance can match that of the RTX 2080 Super. It's also only about 10% slower than the RTX 3070 while costing 20% less. And, unlike NVIDIA's GTX series of graphics cards, the RTX 3060 Ti is built with dedicated hardware for both ray tracing and deep learning super sampling. If you're still using a GTX or similar GPU, the RTX 3060 Ti is twice as fast. It is also 40% faster than the RTX 2060 Super, and 25% faster than the RX 5700 XT. Last but not least, it costs less than AMD's competitor, the RX 6800. The new NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti is designed for epic performance in 1080p, it is therefore, an extremely popular choice for anyone who is not too interested in 4K gaming. AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, Best AMD Graphics Card The RX 6800 XT is currently AMD's best graphics card, offering a noticeable increase in performance compared to the previous generation. It's 80% faster than the RX 5700 XT, while adding support for ray tracing. It's also cheaper than NVIDIA's RTX 3080, and is only a tad more expensive than the RX 6800. The RX 6900 XT is 5% faster, but it also costs 50% more. So it's not a good deal, especially considering that it boasts the same amount of VRAM and no other extras. The new Navi 21 chip is more than twice the size of the Navi 10, and offers twice as many cores and twice as much RAM. Clock speeds also increased by about 300 MHz, and AMD managed to implement all this without greatly increasing energy requirements. The RX 6800 XT has a 300 watts TDP, slightly lower than NVIDIA's RTX 3080 320 watts TDP. Much of AMD's performance is due to its huge 128 megabytes infinity cache which improves actual bandwidth by 119%. The RX 6800 XT generally outperforms the more expensive RTX 3080, especially at higher resolutions and in professional graphics applications thanks to its improved memory bandwidth and copious amounts of video memory. What don't we like? Well, ray tracing performance is a bit mediocre, overall the RX 6800 XT is slightly better than the RTX 3070 in terms of ray tracing performance, but there are games where it falls 25% behind. And all this without the use of DLSS, which can improve the performance of RTX GPUs by another 30%. AMD is working on its Fidelity FX Super Resolution to compete with DLSS, but it is currently far behind. However, AMD has something called Smart Access Memory, that can improve performance in some games. Unfortunately, the earnings are not huge, and they are only available if you also have a Ryzen 5000 series processor and a 500 series motherboard. If instead, you want to overclock your card without invalidating the warranty, Rage Mode is a nice addition since it implements overclocking without damaging the hardware. All in all, if you're an AMD fan, the Radeon RX 6800 XT impresses in benchmarks, and can trade blows with the RTX 3080 in many games. If you don't care about ray tracing, the RX 6800 XT is a compelling cheaper alternative. AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT, Best Graphics Card for 1080p Gaming AMD's answer to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 is the Radeon RX 6600 XT. It offers better performance than the old RX 5700 XT, 
which is impressive considering the memory bus has been cut in half to 128 bits. However, there is a reasonable concern with its 8GB of video RAM, which means that there are certainly cases where the RTX 3060 with its 12GB of RAM is the better choice. In tests, the RX 6600 XT is about 10% faster than the RTX 3060 while also consuming less power, so you can install it on a PC with a smaller power supply. The biggest problem is ray tracing. Several games that support DirectX ray tracing couldn't achieve more than 20 FPS at 1080p. On the other hand, the RTX 3060 was about twice as fast, although neither card is really cut out for ray tracing. Unfortunately, the advent of Fidelity FX Super Resolution doesn't solve this problem, since it provides a similar increase in performance to both AMD, NVIDIA, and even Intel GPUs. Ultimately, the AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT is the replacement for the RX 5600 XT, and a great deal if you find it at the MSRP of $379. AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT, Best 1440p Graphics Card the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT boasts the same number of GPU cores as the RX 5700 XT, but has higher clock speeds, 12GB of video RAM, and 384GB per second of memory bandwidth, which result in a performance increase of approximately 25%. In our tests, the RX 6700 XT beats the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in raw power in 1440p games, but falls behind the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 thus its launch price seems justified. Although the RX 6700 XT offers ray tracing, its support is not as good as NVIDIA's, and the same is also true for Fidelity FX Super Resolution, AMD's alternative to NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling. The real problem, however, is the same with all graphics cards, the stratospheric prices. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, Best Cheap Graphics Card the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 is the first GA106 GPU that also boasts 12GB of VRAM and a 192-bit memory interface. Sadly, with 26% fewer GPU cores compared to the 3060 Ti and less memory bandwidth, overall performance is only at the level of an RTX 2070. If we eliminate ray tracing and DLSS from the discussion, the RTX 3060 ends up having approximately the same performance as the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. Anywho, the RTX 3060 is a very capable graphics card, and the ideal choice if you want a game at 1080p right now. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, the most powerful. The RTX 3090 is a beast. With as much as 24GB of RAM, no game or graphics project can stand in its way. Actually, you can even game at 8K at 60fps on a 3090. It is however an extremely expensive graphics card, it costs twice as much as an RTX 3080, with only a marginally better performance, just 15% better. It is in practice the replacement for the Titan, so it makes more sense for creative users, using it for heavy 3D rendering and 8K video editing, than for gamers. Even so, it's a massive reduction in price compared to the Titan, even though it's still out of most people's budget. The RTX 3090 sports a GA102 chip, based on the Ampere architecture, and is the only 30-series RTX supporting NVLink. AMD's RX 6900 XT can look it in the eyes, but if you just have to have the most powerful graphics card ever, that's the RTX 3090. AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT, Best Cheap Graphics Card for 1080p Gaming the AMD RX 5500 XT delivers the superb 1080p performance of the RX 590, for less. The problem is that AMD has maintained its line of Polaris 500 series GPUs on the market, further cutting their price, and thus making the 5500 XT's launch a bit lukewarm. If you want a graphics card capable of running any modern game at 1080p and 60fps, the 5500 XT currently offers the best price to performance ratio. Attention, the 5500 XT is available in two versions. The only reason to opt for the 8GB version is if you want to play on ultra settings. Unfortunately the card is not powerful enough to always hit 60fps on maximum settings. Therefore, the 4GB version offers an almost identical experience, for a much lower cost. AMD Radeon RX 5700, the best graphics card for most people. 
The second card that AMD launched on the market with its new RDNA architecture is the RX 5700. This is the smaller sibling of the excellent 5700 XT version. This GPU can compete in terms of FPS with the RTX 2070 and RTX 2060 Super, and is clearly better than the RTX 2060.